Well, it's opening night tonight and it's fantastic. We feel really, really thrilled at what we've achieved here. It's looking really amazing. Everyone seems to love it. People are really excited. The idea of combining the, the old with the new and moving forward is an extremely good venture. And the view from the front through to the garden is incredible. It's a major thing for everybody in Bath and I think it's absolutely stunning. I love the whole glass extension. It looks so wonderful and it doesn't look obtrusive or anything. And it's so gorgeous to look out of the window and see all the garden around. It's just marvellous. I was just saying to my husband, when you look at it, that tree that's reflected in the glass, you always think the tree was growing inside the museum. It's achieved everything Absolutely. that they wanted. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Just taking it all in, but the glass is lovely. It's great. I think it's moving forward. Excellent. We're going to make it our local coffee shop because we just <laughs> live up the hill in Bathwick Hill. <laughs>um, involved because it's the synergy between his collection and Sir William's collection which we weren't really sure how that would work but we're actually showing his collection in the old 19th century museum case collections and we've re-displayed everything within there so it's fantastic yeah. It's very exciting to have followed the progress of, of all the, the building work I mean one of the, the early visits was climbing up an outside ladder with a hard hat on and seeing the shell of the building so to see, see it come to fruition and, and the yeah, the visitors tonight and um, the, the way it all looks, it's absolutely wonderful. Peter Blake's fantastic. I mean, do we all love Peter? And, and, you know, I've known him for years and his stuff is absolutely brilliant. He's one of the best sort of popular artists of our time, I would say. And so marvellous to see this connection um, coming to the Holborn Museum. I think it's a great achievement. when you know, when when children when schools come here the, you know, obviously I hope they'll enjoy my exhibition and they'll find some points of contact I hope perhaps the stromboli little, little um, you know, um, unusual animals and things will frighten them a little bit and excite them and um, and that they'll they'll enjoy just looking around and then come to the rest of the museum and see some beautiful kind of classical art you know, so so I hope it will you know they'll um, They'll just enjoy it as, as a wonderful museum. 1660. Yeah, good heavens. And the lights go off when you go back in. I, I was just saying, isn't it clever? It's brilliant. I arrived at the Holborn five years ago and I've been longing to do this <laughs> ever since. Um, but before I do any more, uh, I'm very pleased up here to have um, really uh, two people without whom today would not be possible. Uh, and one of them is Sam Hunt, who is here to represent the HLF and the lottery, who, with their extraordinary grant of five million, really showed that they had faith in the possibility of the Holborn happening. So, um, and their faith obviously gave others uh, a degree of faith that we could pull it off. So, um, Sam, would you like to say a few words? Oh, thank you. Um, the one really marvellous thing about Heritage Lottery Fund is this is your money that's paid for it. It is being paid through through lottery tickets. Um, we gave just under £5 million pounds towards this project. Um, it's more than an act of faith. I think it's a reflection of the very high opinion we've had of this project throughout. Um, it's had problems, it's gone through traumas that projects do, but I think it's a huge tribute, uh, both to David Polsnett, his trustees, and to Czar, not only to see this project through to completion, 
but to actually raise the sum that's made it happen and an endowment of 2.5 million. And I think that really gives an exemplar to other museum projects throughout the UK that you can undertake a project of this, of this scale. The other thing I think that's really impressed us about it, it, it's not only restored a building, it's created new space here, but it's been underpinned by an educational vision, which is something very, very close to our heart. And above all, I think, what a fabulous extension. Um, this is the first time I've seen it tonight. It is extremely impressive. I think it's a, a benchmark in English architecture. It's something that really Bath has every right to be proud of. So, congratulations, Zahn and Eddie, for this magnificent thing. Um, the other great excitement of reopening is, of course, and what the, this building has given us is an exhibition gallery. Um, and when thinking of what exhibitions start with, it seemed entirely appropriate that this, a museum built around an individual's collection, should open with a, an exhibition of a collection. Uh, and it was a remarkably short step between that thought and thinking of uh, Peter. Blake and his extraordinary uh, collection that he has, and um, and so that was the starting point. I've been I've been very fortunate to go and see his studio in the past, uh, which is this creation, this imaginary world created uh, by him. And so I approached him, and he agreed rather fantastically, or very very fantastically, and even more extraordinarily, he agreed to show his collection with his work as well at the same time. And so we have upstairs what I think is this marvellous uh, dialogue between these twin activities. Um, and we've got Max Miller's shoes and Ian Dury's rhythm stick. So, so all is well with the world. And I'm hugely privileged to be standing up here with the great man himself. And he has very kindly agreed to say a few words. I'm really excited to be having this show. I lived just south of Bath um, from 69 to 79, um, so I'm very familiar with the city. Um, I actually came here to, to learn calligraphy um, when um, the um, Robin Tanner um, folk collection was here. So, so I, kn I know the museum and I've followed its progress. Um, as I say, I'm very excited to, what I didn't realize was how my collection um, would fit in with, with the Hoban collection. Um, I mean, it, it's, not, it's not the same, it's not the same quality, but, but I think the links are very interesting. Um, so I'm very ha happy to be showing, and I think the extension is absolutely beautiful. I think it's an extraordinary um, thing to have done, and it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you all for coming, thank you. Uh, well, finally, just a, a huge thank you to all of you. Thank you all for coming, and do come back. Tell your friends, and tomorrow the shop will be open. <laughs> <laughs>